Okay, it is time to update. Yeah! So, this week, guys, what we're going to do, this is a special episode of Gamers Update. Best. We're, we're going to have our normal up. We, we had our normal episode last week. <laughs> this week's the end of the year review update. What we're going to talk about... Yeah. You okay? I'm just giving you background. Oh, oh shit. Oh, He's a hot But yeah, so we're going to talk about everything that happened this year, from the biggest name games to the biggest movies. If we missed anything, please leave, please tell us down in the comments. So, Loki's kind of oblivious to this one. So this year, in about August, uh, this actually has been hyped for over a year now, is uh, No Man's Sky. No oh. Man's Sky came out in August. It's an okay game. It's Minecraft in space, Loki. It's not that bad. But the biggest thing that went on was they were promoting, you know, we have multiplayer, we have so much different things. They got hit hard with a lawsuit that just got dropped this, what, past week, week and a half? This month. This month, yeah. Um, stating that, you know what, they didn't, because it's so random that it, it can happen to anyone. So they didn't really, they, they were like, oh, guess what, you know what, your mount, your your pro your uh, math problems that you made for the game, don't they don't play. work. <laughs> they work, wow. but they don't work. So they dropped a the lawsuit. It was a big debacle. It was. Everybody's pissed off at that game. And they're just yeah. now starting their release. They just released uh, this past month to uh, base build. Yeah, which is base building. <laughs> You're not. You don't even live on a planet long enough to deal with a base. <laughs> wow, I'm glad we started with that, <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> Shit, blue Logie's mine right there. Told you you'd learn about it. Dalty, what else came out all this year? Well, you got Battlefield. Battlefield 1 came out, and god damn, did they fix their mistakes to part line and four. <laughs> Battlefield 1's pretty damn good. It was. The campaign's really good, the multiplayer's really good, it fucking works. At launch, unlike Battlefield 4, and it's actually fun to play, unlike Hardline. <laughs> good on you, EA. And so I would have to Good say job. it's one of the better games. I really like going back to the World War One era too, because you know. Oh yeah, compared to Infinite Warfare, this game is a shining fucking star. Logie, it came out this month. What came out this month? What did it, Logan? Dead Rising Four. Do you know anything about Dead Rising Four? Not really. Uh, Set in Christmas. Yeah, it yeah. actually is. Set in Christmas. Highly recommend you playing it. It's a really fun game. It's fun. Definitely go check out the videos that we've played ourselves. They've been posted so far, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Part five. You up to six? How many parts? Two. Two. <laughs> I thought there was a whole. Well, here, here's the thing. They they said there was gonna be co-op in the game, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody's like, oh, campaign co-op, because that's two what... or three had campaign co-op. Like you play with a friend. It wasn't four player. Like four player co-op. Mm -hmm. We're like, fuck yeah, we're gonna play through the campaign. Like two weeks before the game came out, it was like, hey. Remember when we said campaign or a co-op? Yeah, it's only like survival co-op. There's no campaign co-op. Camp wow. We only want campaign to be Frank West. And so far, I've played about half the game on campaign, and you can totally do multiplayer on it. There's no reason why that they shouldn't have put multiplayer in campaign. It, would have it does not game. help the story, or it does, or it does not Hurt hinder the story at all to have three <coughs> games. Good-ass game, though. Fun as shit. I, actually, I can spend hours just killing zombies and don't give a fuck about the quests. So the other day, I actually, uh, or sometime this month, I heard that the real true ending is actually locked behind the paywall. Are you shitting me? <laughs> no, I am not. Fuck Thank that. the Lord we have the season pass this year. Because that was a smart little cookie for you. So, we also, in December, we had Final Fantasy XV. I don't know anything about it. Me I, I've heard it's actually one of the better Final Fantasies and for newcomers. Play. Oh my god, Logie. I know you what? don't know. <laughs> what? I'm sure you don't care either. For the people out there that do care, for the past 10 years, this game's been in development hell oh. and has been in stuck in development hell. Oh. The Last Guardian finally decided to rear its ugly head and just be playable. And you know what? It's a play PlayStation 3 game with PlayStation, it PlayStation 4. Poopy. It does. It really does. It is horrible to say. So, boys, you know, I like XCOM. I really loved XCOM 2 when it finally came out. It came out on PlayStation or the PC earlier this year, and then back in September, it dropped on the consoles. And oh my god, 
it kicked my ass multiple times. I had to restart it at least a good six or seven times before I finally beat the fucking game. I had to stop and think if I actually beat the game or not. Did you beat the game? I did actually beat the game. Woohoo! If you haven't played XCOM, go check it out. It's on the consoles. XCOM 2 is now out on the consoles too. And it is a fun game. Especially with like old school turn-based strategy games. That's what makes it yeah. fun. Hey! You guys remember when The Division came out earlier this <laughs> year? Yeah. Like, seven months ago? And we played, we made up a bunch of videos in the beta. And the beta was fun as shit. And the game launched, and no. nobody was playing a whole lot of it. It was it was a good game. I'm not something I'm going to play in the long run. But. It's, like, it's like they're really good trailers. Everything yeah. good that was in the movie was in the trailer, so you don't really want to yeah, watch listen. the movie. Yeah, listen. We play multiplayer. It's fun to just kind of walk around the streets and, oh, we're in a desert and shoot shit. And we go to the dark zone and I think there's other players here and we can kill them and shit. Mm -hmm. And then, like, three days later, you're like, eh, okay. <laughs> we're done. We basically played the game in the beta. Yeah. Like, the beta was the whole game. And by that time, we'd, we'd spent hours playing the beta. Mm -hmm. I don't want to play the game anymore. Downfall about betas. Dalton, you play Dark Souls? God, I fucking love Dark Souls. Did you play Dark Souls 2? No. <laughs> <laughs> what about Dark Souls 3? Listen, Dark Souls 3 is a great ass game. You beat it, didn't you? I beat it twice. Ooh. I went through it again, and there's an option to restart the story again at your current level. I did that, and I beat it all the way through. It's a good ass game. God damn. Once you get the hang of it, it's super easier. It's not as hard as everybody says it is. Good ass game, pick it up. It it's probably you. on sale. Somewhere. Yeah, I'm oh, sure it will be for Christmas. Please. Logan, you ever play PlayStation games? Yeah. Did you ever play any of the Uncharted? I know about it. Wanted to play it, couldn't get it. So, they're really good games. They're a Tomb Raider. They're the male version of Tomb Raider, and they were phenomenal. I've not got a chance to play Uncharted Four. But I hear it's actually one of the best ones that is out, and it really does a good job at pushing the PlayStation 4 to its limits. Mm -hmm. So, these two guys don't play play or PC gaming like I used to and still kind of do. Nope. I play World of Warcraft every blue moon. Legion dropped this year, boys. And let me tell you, it picks up exactly as the Burning Legion coming back and trying to take over Azeroth. For you guys out there, since you guys obviously don't know or don't care, Who the Azeroth. Well, that's the planet that they, that's that's planet Earth, but they call it Azeroth. Don't ask me why. They call it. I don't know. It's who, set in. A, who thinks of this? Hey, I seen the movie. Chris, you saw it. Yeah. Did you see the movie? Mm -hmm. The movie was pretty good. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. good I like the movie. Yeah, I didn't movie. never never played the game, but the movie was okay. But yeah, Legion dropped. Um, it. More or less, the cool thing about it is you go up to, I think it's 110 now, you get to play as a uh, demon hunter like Yildin. You know, you, you guys were sitting here like, I don't give two shit shoot. I was over here making faces. Shit, continue uh -huh. on. Listen, while well, we're on PC games, you said I don't like to play a lot of PC games. There was a PC game that dropped in the summer that I, I played religiously. I have like oh, yeah. 75 hours on record on this game because I played it in the summer. With me and me and Braxton played a lot. It's called Dead by Daylight. There are still people streaming that game 24/7 now because that game is so good. It was a pretty good game. And it's a pretty fucking fun game once you get the mechanics down. And after that, bug fixed it. Oh, they bug fixed it. Yeah, they did a bunch of hot fixes and oh, added cool. all the characters. It's a fun ass game. Don, we've been playing Destiny since day one. Oh God, the grind in that game. What came out this year? And actually, what videos have we shot with it? The Rise of Iron. Other bullshit DLC you had to pay for. Because you already spent $60 on the game, or at least I did because I bought it day one. Then you. $40 for the season pass? $40 for the Tekken King? Oh, well, fuck it! Another $40 for Rise of Iron. Because you already spent $150 on the goddamn game and you want to get the best shit, so might as well <laughs> spend more money. So but it's pay to win games? <laughs> it's not pay to win, it's pay to get better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to be locked behind a wall. You're not going to be able to do shit. You just kind of get stuck. Otherwise, uh, is it worth the money? Kind of is. Probably. Yeah, kind of. Kind of is. I, I was going to get it, but Mason is such a nice guy. He uh, he bought me a shoe, the Rise of Iron DLC, and we've been playing it. It's probably not worth $40. I'd probably pay $20 to play it. It's a good ass DLC though. But for actually, people, it actually had a story. But for people that haven't played it, 
or like love you who doesn't even own Destiny, no. go out and buy the whole entire fucking collection for sixty bucks. Save you so much money. It would definitely worth it. I'm getting ready. So it's worth it. You guys don't care. I do. I really like this game. It's called Mountain Blade Warband. Um, it's a P it was a PC game. They ported over the Xbox, and oh my god, I have been playing the shit out of that game. Yeah. Every day I get on Xbox playing fucking that game for hours on end. It's good because you, you, you get your you get to more or less run your own little kingdom, and dear God, that's what makes it so awesome. Hey, so no, <laughs> we had a lot of VR stuff drop this year, but what was the biggest thing, thing in VR drop? Well, if you uh, if you're one of those 13 million people who bought a PlayStation 4, you can now spend another $400. <laughs> $400, mind you, and buy the PlayStation VR headset. But that's just the headset. That doesn't mean you get the little toggle things, whatever the hell those are called. Those are like another $50 to $60 just to get those. Come on, but, hey, what are you doing? If you got the money to spend, it's still cheaper than buying a $700 Vive headset. Just to True. be able to play VR, and you don't have to have an expensive high-end PC you can just play it on your PlayStation. Yeah. That's probably, probably a good deal if you already have a PlayStation. Spend another four hundred fifty dollars, get VR, and then you can play VR headset shit on your console. Super Sounds cool. Fun. Actually, you know what's really cool? You can actually there's they there's ways to hook the PlayStation VR up to the Xbox One. What? Yeah, it's a really big hassle. That's really big but hassle. is it in like true VR? Is it just like there's a screen? And I'm not and sure. Yeah, I'm not sure about. I want to play VR shit so bad, but you know what? My wallet does not want me to. <laughs> My wallet <laughs> screams no either. It does not want me to. So, if you want to take another turn from console gaming back to PC gaming, we had Civilization VI come out, and let me tell you boys, I haven't got the chance to play it yet. I look forward to getting the chance when I finally do. Civilization V was amazing. Beyond I Earth. Uh -huh. I think I played two. Uh, Civilization II. You would like it. You'd love Civilization V. But they took literally all the mechanics from Civilization V, mashed it still, and made sweet love with what they had with Beyond Earth. I made it Civilization VI, and oh my god, the way I've understood it is the uh, AI actually learns and continues to learn. So it's like Shadows of Mordor shit. Yeah, it's stronger and stronger. So Titanfall 2 came out. For you people that like Logan didn't play Titanfall, this has more of a uh, campaign to it. Actually, speaking of campaigns, I heard that uh, Battlefront 2 is going to have a campaign. What? Dice listen to us? Oh, are giving us a campaign! Holy shit, that couldn't have been like Destiny to put in a DLC? Mm, no. Hell no, uh, heaven forbid that shit! Speaking of DLC, also Battlefield, uh, oh, never mind. That's for the regular gamer update, folks. My bad. Watch that uh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, back in 2011, we had Skyrim drop. You don't really care. Guy, Bethesda was like, hey guys, you know what? We finally ported over Skyrim because they're dicks like that and just took fucking forever. Technically could have ported Skyrim over about two years ago, but you know what? They weren't going to do that. You have to wait for your fan base to get fed up with your shit. Oh, we and were... then drop it and they'd be like, alright, we love you again. And then wait <laughs> another seven years until they get fed up with your shit again. Well, yeah, because you have to play Skyrim forever. If you haven't played Skyrim, I highly recommend getting Skyrim Remastered for 60 bucks. It's well worth the Bye. God damn it, guys. <laughs> Listen, you just keep talking. I'm going to make faces over here. So, Dalton, we had the shittiest game ever. The most hated video video on YouTube. Most disliked. Everybody was shitting on it. What the fuck dropped this year? Because everybody knows what I'm talking about anyway. I already thought we talked about No Man's Sky. <laughs> oh! Now, no. this game's fucking... Oh, uh, well... It's probably better than No Man's Sky, but it's marketing just shit down its throat. Well, it doesn't yeah. help that Activision I, really fucked up this time around. Yeah. Listen, the only thing good that came out of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare was COD 4 Remastered. And you still had to pay extra money to get that goddamn thing. But you need the fucking Infinite Warfare disc in the console just to be able to play Remastered. What the fuck? Because they were afraid that everybody's going to buy it and then just fucking throw away the Infinite Warfare and just play Remastered, they're like, no. Fuck you, you have to have Infinite Warfare to play it. Wow. What? Why you do this to me? 
Try Listen, to... multiplayer sucks ass in that game. Call of Duty multiplayer has just gone downhill, and right now, it was like Advanced Warfare, Ghost, then it's like fucking Infinite Warfare. What are you doing? Hey, Check what out What are you doing? Black Ops 3 was pretty good, I thought. I thought what are you good. doing? Battlefield 1's kicking your There's ass. There's the fucking door. <laughs> just get out. I played so many hours on Black Ops 3, though. What are you doing? Just give us remastered. I don't give a fuck about Infinite Warfare. I played the campaign and I already forgot half of it. Segwaying over to movies? Movies. Well, we, we didn't have a lot of movies. Well, we had... Not a lot of good movies. Not a lot no. of good movies. Not a lot of movies, you know, we will definitely Grab talk about movies. here. On, you know, Gamers Update, we had, like, Finding Dory, Zootopia, stuff like that. You know, Disney and Pixar, you know, making sweet love childs like normal. Yeah. But Marvel kind of ran the show this year, though. Yeah, pretty much. Disney kind of also always do. Disney kind of also ran the show a little bit. I mean, yeah. they didn't have a, they had, you know, like I said, Finding Dory's Utopia. They also have Rogue One that dropped this month. Um, Rogue One oh. actually was really good. Uh, yeah. Would they rate it? It was a nine out of ten. What would you rate it? Uh, nine out of ten. Fair there you go. Yeah, I mean, I agree. It, it, it's a little darker, but that's what makes you know stepping off to the side of you know the Star the Star Wars saga. Yeah, listen, that's a good move. I like that move. You don't have to just beat the shit out of the story. And yeah, and even in seven movies, and people are like, well, it, it's a risk, and then, yeah, it is a risk. But the nice yeah. thing is, you know, it takes place between three and four, and more or less, ex- kind of catches up with where Rebels is right now on Disney XD, and leads all the way up to four. We're technically. Uh, about Cogger Padme. Leo uh, has the, you know, magical plans for the Death Star. That's what makes it awesome, is, you know, we get to see that gap. We don't have to read it. We don't have to listen to fan theories. You get to see it in action. And dear God, they did good with it. Ooh, good on you. Loki, you were talking about this earlier. You really liked what came out in February on because I bet you took your girlfriend to see it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> did you really? Did she you? loved it. Really? Oh, wow. Damn. Yeah. Or no, was that? Yeah, I did. I can't. Well, I went and saw uh, Civil War. No, no, no. With Curtis. Deadpool. It was Deadpool. Deadpool oh, no. was awesome. I've been waiting for that. I, I'm like, you, yeah, it was awesome. It I can't was. wait till Deadpool 2. Deadpool. Awesome. It was a great ass. Movie. Definitely needed to be rated R. So, you know, speaking of um, single people this year, we had Doctor Strange come out. Also pretty good. Pretty good. Movie. Wasn't the best yeah. compared wasn't a- to the Civil War, but good on you, Benedict. Whatever your last name is, Cumberbatch. Cumberbatch. Pretty good. You want more of our views? You know we have a Doctor Strange Gamer Update earlier this year, so go check that out. So Dalton brought up Civil War. Civil that War. dropped. This was a little different than what the comic books were. It was awesome. Great movie. Did you ever read the comics? No. I don't know the comics. I was waiting for the comic guy to get done. (laughs) So different than the comics, but that's still. It's still. Nobody read comics anymore. There's like a whole two people. Yeah, this is why The Walking Dead is the biggest fucking show on television because it's a comic book show. Do you see that door? Yeah. Go. What did you think of Civil War? It's pretty good. That's what you wanted to say. (laughs) (laughs) Listen, that airplane. Air, airport sequence. That was awesome. Best action sequence of 2016. Oh, yeah. It was good as shit. And actually, Spider-Man was decent. Sir. Spider-Man was so good, motherfucker got his own movie. Yeah. Before he was so hilarious. So you like the Joker, right? You like Batman more, right? <laughs> <laughs> you like Superman? Nah. Oh, uh, no. Well, I do like Superman, eh. but I would go with Batman. Yeah, Batman's not... I don't know if he's my favorite. What have, what, what, who would you guys vote for if they decided to go fight? Marvel. Marvel? <laughs> <laughs> not what I was thinking. Batman. I'd probably vote Superman. Oh, you'd vote Superman? You, you trading your you trading your man in? The Man of Steel? Listen. What? What was the guy... The, the director's name? Snyder. Snyder. What are you doing? Martha! Yeah, that was the dumbest fucking plot point. <laughs> Why would you make that the plot point that propels the entire finale of this already astronomically long-ass movie? Yeah. That was more about Batman than Superman. You could have just waited and 
until the Batman movie came done or got done, and then did this. Yeah. Wait, wait, whoa! Marvel's had since '08 to build their franchise. You don't need to do it in two movies, three yeah. movies. You can't go Superman, <laughs> Superman, Batman, <laughs> Superman. Look, we caught up to Marvel, guys. We're just as good. <laughs> Hell no, you ain't. I don't know if okay. you know this. Have you, seen the, have you seen the Hulk movies? Yeah. They suck ass. Those are Marvel movies. Yeah. They suck ass. When was the last Hulk movie? When was the last movie? Way before Hulk. Uh, I know Hulk. Listen, is Iron Man 2. Two look me dead in the eye and tell me that Iron Man 2 was a great movie. No one remembers Iron Man 2. You remember Iron Man 3. Because it was. It was. Why the fuck would you have your main villain be Whiplash? Hello? You had a better villain in the first one. You remember Iron Man 1 and Iron Man 3. Iron, Iron Man 3 was... wasn't even that good. No. That's Why would you have a supernatural villain that oh. shoots flames and shit? So listen, DC, you gotta take your lumps. And right now, oh, you're fucking taking them hard, homie. Yeah. Just, oh, hang in there, you'll be alright. Obviously, DC's not having a good year because they also released Suicide Squad and that. Very so mixed reviews. Very mixed reviews. Personally, for me, that sucked. It was not the like, best thing. I'm in still the world. gonna watch it. I haven't watched it yet, but I've you not. No. Are I'm you watching it for the Joker? Because let me tell you right <laughs> now, you're gonna be fucking disappointed. No, I'm just watching it because it looks like a good movie. I've heard very It's a good very action movie. Movies. It's a very good action movie. Because that's what Will Smith does good as action Will movies. Smith is the best part of that movie. Yeah. And I like I was like, like looking at ass like that. Listen. <clears throat> why would Killer Croc get two lines? He says two fucking things the whole movie. And he's like one of the main people in Suicide Squad. You know who's my favorite character in that movie? Marco Robbie. Slipping up. <laughs> my favorite character the whole fucking movie. No, well, you don't get the joke, but when you watch it, you'll get the joke. Come back Slipknot is my favorite character of that movie. You know what? Slipknot probably summarizes that whole movie as a, as a whole. I'm going. Comes to in that. guns blazing, goes out and fucking like that. Don't buy it. I'm rent not it. gonna buy it. I'm rent gonna rent it. I'm renting rent it, it as soon as I get down here. Rent watch it, it tonight. Then. So I'll come back Thursday. And come Logan, back. no. Let's wrap this up with X Men Apocalypse. Did you guys get to watch that? No. Nope. It looks like a really good movie though. So okay. you have high standards <laughs> for it's movies so these days. Yeah, it's, man, not that bad of, it's not that bad of a I'm movie. I'm an avid movie watcher, guys. It's not that bad of a movie. It's not one of the best X Men movies. I have so many movies. But then that you have to watch, and they're just not good. Not you sure. remember when Pokemon Go was a thing? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's about to come back, actually. Oh, my God. But we'll talk about that in Gamers Update. That's up. a different we'll, day. We'll, we talk about that, yeah, in a different day. This has been Gamers Update. I'm Shu. Dalton. And Logan. Thank you for watching. This might have been a little longer, but this is our special end of the year edition. Happy holidays! And this has been Gamers Update. So hit the like, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below, follow us on Twitter, follow us even personally on Twitter, ladies and gents. It's time. You've been updated. Have a good day. See you. Thank you for watching this video. If you really liked it, hit subscribe down here. Go check out some Twitter, where me and Colin like to tweet a lot. Well, every two weeks. Maybe less. Also, there's more videos in these two corners somewhere over here. And I'm just going to keep doing this. All. Not. Stop.